might come in handy is some corn flour um, I might need that I might not depend on how I go um, I'm gonna rely on potatoes to actually thicken the soup um, it's just a blend of loads of different um, vitamins and minerals to be honest um, so we've got some watercress spinach and rocket brilliant stuff I've got a couple of packets of those on offer um, some swede um, what I try to do especially with vegetables because I used to um, own an allotment I try and get organic where possible it's a little bit dearer um, but it's a lot better for you because it's out of the ground um, quicker on to the shelf basically and then you're getting most nutrients and they don't spray all of the crap on it I mean you know not good peppers fantastic you can also research these guys individually to see the nutritional benefits um, what you get out of all these vegetables and also for protein, um, things like these are great in there. Um, tomatoes as well. Just or everything you see in front of you. Sweet potatoes as well. Um, is really, really good for you. So what I plan to do is to get a little bit of everything and um, mix it all up together in a nice soup. Um, carrots, obviously. Um, some calvo nero. I used to grow this myself, Daniel Lockman. That's some black kale. That is fantastic. I absolutely love that stuff to death. You can fry it up with butter and garlic if you're not healthy, but it's really, really good. Um, cauliflower, obviously. Um, some onions. Shiitake mushrooms. Everyone knows about shiitake mushrooms, about how good they are for you. And um, we're going to be getting some mixtures of these as well. Now, because we're up against time, I've got work tomorrow. I haven't got time to soak them for 24 hours, so I've just got the, re the ready done stuff. Got um, eggplant, aubergine, um, we've got some a nice big lump of garlic there. I'm looking forward to using it because garlic is one of the best things you can actually eat. If you haven't got garlic in your diet, you're, ser you're seriously missing out. Um, corn on the cob, sweet corn, and potatoes there. Always get Maris Pipers, they're just a great all-rounder. Um, that is going to thicken up most of the soup. And it does look quite a lot. I and mean, This is for one person for um, five days um, lunch and dinner so i think i might do this in half um and see how i got on well that was a quick run through of the ingredients uh what will be sticking in this soup um what i'm gonna be doing is chopping it really really small um the, the reason for doing this is because i don't want to cook it for too long because the longer you cook um vegetables especially the more um, nutrients are disappearing from it. So the idea is to chop it up really, really small, um, bring it to the boil and simmer it for no time at all, 
turn it off, put the lid on and leave it for a bit. And then just get the hand blender and just blitz it all up. Um, that's the plan anyway. Um, the idea of doing loads of different stuff is because, you know, some um, uh, vegetables have got certain vitamins and some haven't. So if you get a good mixture of everything, you know, you're going to be getting all of the, the vitamins and nutrients as much as possible. So that's the plan anyway. So what I don't want to do is to go onto this diet and just miss out on certain um, vitamins and minerals. It's probably not good for you. So I believe in moderation, you know. Um, little of everything is good. And there's pretty much a little of every veg there within reason. And um, yeah, I don't really give a monkey's what it tastes like. Um, I might put some of my own spice mix in there that I make now and again. Um, garlic, obviously, put garlic in at the last minute. You, you don't want to cook all the goodness out of it. In fact, to get the most benefits from garlic, you, you should eat it raw, pretty much. I mean, all I'll do is I'll just smash it up into a pulp and just put it into a stir fry the last 10 seconds just to warm it through. That way you're getting most out of it. The last thing you want to do is to boil that lot for ages and just kill off everything. Um, as I said earlier, I have my own allotment and I learned a hell of a lot about growing my own fruit and veg. Um, what I did come to know is um, pretty much as soon as the vegetable is taken out of the ground, it's losing all of its goodness. You know, some of this stuff has been sat on supermarket shelves for weeks and you know it's probably not very good. But as I say, the organic stuff, you know, they can't keep it too long because it hasn't been sprayed with all the rubbish to keep it alive for so long. It's a little bit dearer, but, you know, if you're working and you can afford it, then, you know, the way I see it is prioritise. The most important thing is your body. Well, we just got a nice big pot there. I think these are um, predominantly used for cooking jams and stuff. Add this in the family for donkey's years, and we're just going to uh, get all the ingredients in there and cook it up. We're going to be using sataki mushrooms, and these things are amazing. All you've got to do is just, if there's anything you're unsure of, of each particular ingredient I'm using, just go to Google, type it in, on the right hand side of the screen, there'll be a drop down menu, and it will show you all of its nutritional content. So, all of the stuff I've picked is really high in vitamins and minerals. So, we're going to be using loads of these because these are brilliant. And probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to half of everything I have um, in one sitting. I don't think it's all going to fit in the pot for the all in one go. So here's a little quick tip for you. How I sharpen my knives, I'll get the angle right and I'll sharpen. On a button for coffee mug, because you've got ceramic on there. And it takes no time at all. So, lovely. So all I'm going to do is just quickly just go through these as quickly as I can really. As I say, we don't want to do them in great big chunks. We want to get them smallish because it's all going to be cooking quickly, if you know what I mean. I don't want it sitting around in boiling water for too long. So I'm just going to whiz through loads of these. This section here in the stem is pretty much just an amazing flavour to eat raw. It tastes exactly like radish. It's so good for it, especially if you get this fresh. Now as I say, I always try and get organic where possible and when I grew these myself, I couldn't believe it until I tried it. Um, my friend who's been growing veg for like over 50 years, who was next door to me at the time, taught me this and it really is, it's beautiful. You get all of the, um, the area out of here and cheat it raw, it's brilliant. So we're not going to be wasting anything at all. It's all going in the whole lot. We're not just going to fanny around and use the flowers because that's all that is, is flowers. We're just going to use everything. This is the um, the Calvo Nero I was telling you about, or black kale. I just can't begin to tell you how good this stuff is. It's brilliant. I think in Italy, what they um, mainly use, they just cut it this way, um, fry it in a pan with some olive oil and some garlic. It's just lovely as a side dish. But no, it's just going to get blitzed up in a soup. So you haven't got to be a 
fancy or anything, just get it in there. Right, the good old cauliflower. Now, for some reason, a lot of people just chuck these. We always um, cook them up and eat them. If you haven't tried them, they're really nice actually. I don't see why people just chuck them away. But um, yeah, that all goes in, as I say, nothing gets wasted, the whole lot, even the, the root all gets chopped up and blitzed. It's all goodness, you know, you shouldn't really just be funny about it and throw it away. Just because it looks a bit weird, don't worry. It's all good stuff, chuck it in there. Well, all of the, um, the watercress, spinach and rocket, just chuck in, that's just gonna boil down to nothing anyway. And already, we're half full. We might just about make it. And of course, the humble tomato bursting full of goodness in there. You don't really have to worry too much about that. We're just going to um, quarter these and chuck them in because it's not going to take too long for those to, uh, you know, squish down and turn into a soup. Well, it's starting to fill up quite quick. I might have to use another pot to add to it. <laughs> It just goes to show, doesn't it, once you start preparing it, um, you know, without chucking away anything, you do get quite a lot. Um, the lentils and whatnot are in there, as are the beans and the peas. That's some of protein base to go in there as well. Well, there it is. That's as much as I want to get into the pot. Um, the water is probably about an inch lower than what you see there. So it's quite a substantial amount. Um, I'm going over to the second pot now to put the... Um, more of the starchy ingredients, which should um, thicken the soup. Right, here's pot number two. And we're gonna put some oats in there. Nothing wrong with oats, very, very good piece of kit. Well, as a good base ingredient, potatoes you can't really lose. Uh, all this is gonna do is add the, um, the starchy carbohydrates for the base, really. And say so we're not worrying too much about skin and things you know in most cases a lot of the um, the skin is where a lot of the goodness lies within so it's foolish to just chuck it away really yeah as you're aware it's just soup you know it's not going to be anything special to look at um, so hopefully if we get the right amount here it should thicken up just right with the um, oats that we put in as well as a pretty much as a bulking agent otherwise it's just going to be like a you know a light green colored watery mess which isn't going to be very appetizing at all so yeah we're just going to zip through these buds and just chuck them in the, um, the stock pot pretty much and celery as well not really big on the um, the taste on its own but i should imagine you know once it's um all blitzed up with everything else you're only going to know it's there but for the minerals has to go in. Well, it's been boiling for not that long now. I'm probably going to give that about three minutes. I'm just going to turn it off, leave the lid on, and just let it carry on cooking through. As far as the um, the starch mix, that is just coming out better than expected. Look how naturally i don't even know i'm going to need um corn flour to thicken this because the potatoes and the oats um obviously we've got onions we've got some sweet in there as well you can just tell that's nice and thick so once that's um softened the potatoes enough and especially the swede where i can put the blender in there that's pretty much good to add to the rest of it well because we're near near the end of um cooking now we're just going to be getting the garlic ready as I say, I think it's best, you know, because of all of the important oils in your garlic, is to have it pretty much without all of the, you know, the hell cooked out of it. And you've only got to Google garlic to see all of the lovely good stuff that's in there. Brilliant stuff. If you don't eat garlic regularly, as I said, man, you're really missing out, to be honest. It's excellent stuff, it's been around for thousands of years. And people that wrote books on the stuff. I personally try and eat it as much as I can. I don't give a hell if it stinks or whatever. 
it's so good for for yourself you just wouldn't believe it so yeah the garlic is going to be um smashed up well beyond lazy i'm going to have it really pulped up you know to get all of the oils out of it and i'm going to um pretty much just put it in the moment i'll go to blend it which isn't far away Yeah, some, you, you can, if you want, put some coarse salt onto this to help it um, abraze, <laughs> to really smash it up. But um, I'm just going to do it about this time. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to season um, the soup right at the end. Um, you get a good indication of how much you need there, because if you put too much in, you can't take it out, it's too late. You ruined all that effort and money. So just put a little bit in at a time at the end just to see how you get on. Now all I'm doing now is I'm just pushing and dragging, if you can see that. And that's getting all of the oils out. Yeah, it, you know, you might see it as a bit of a palaver, but you know, I'm a firm believer in you get out of life what you put in. If you're not prepared to put effort into stuff, you're not gonna be rewarded back. So, Good lesson in life there, eh? always do your best. And you can see it, it's just starting to um, break up now. Looking good, looking good. So we're just gonna keep going, because you know I don't want this in the hot soup for very long. I want all the oils to uh, remain in there because that's where you get all the goodness. I've probably said that a thousand times, but I can't reiterate it enough. If you use garlic a lot and you think you know you're helping yourself out and you're cooking it for more than 30 seconds, you know half of the goodness you've killed it straight away. So try and uh, try and use it raw. See how you get on. If you like it, great. If you don't, then I don't know. Just put double the amount and carry on as you were, I suppose. naturally that's thickened up um, all I've done to sort of help it along is um, as it was starting to soften I just smashed it with the spoon um, so it's still quite firm in places which is what I want as I say I don't want to cook this for too long I want to keep as much goodness as I can in there I mean some people actually do this sort of thing raw you know which is you get the maximum amount out of it but you know it is such a nose doing it and I prefer a nice warm soup on a, a winter's day so as promised all of the um, the garlic there it is that's just going to go straight in there all of them lovely oils as well all right. now all I'm going to be using if I can get it all in shot is just um, a hand blender I've had this about three years now maybe four no sorry four years we're in 15 now aren't we yeah, I got this from Tesco's between 10 15 pounds and it comes with loads of attachments um, it's brilliant it's 600 watt and um, it's got a turbo button on here which is always good and all we're gonna do is we're just gonna uh, blitz it all up now a word of caution if you're doing something like this if you've got this right near the top it's gonna be a disaster so if you are doing something like this make sure you've got um, high walls all the way around it because otherwise it could it could go everywhere and that's not good. So we're just going to start off on the low setting first just to get it off the bottom and we're just going to plunge into it. No problem at all. Now we've got the turbo button. Take 
it long at all. I mean that is just going to add to the, the bigger pot, should thicken it up nicely. Well I just happened to open the window because um, I get a bit steamy in here and we don't want the land steaming up. Um, this has pretty much been boiling three, four minutes maybe and left the lid on, turn it off and it's been sat for about ten minutes just doing its thing. You can probably notice that the colour is still there, the shapes are still there, it hasn't gone to mush. So we're pretty much on the borderline now between carry on cooking that and you know losing all of the, the vitamins and nutrients. So as it is now, we've pretty much got away with that because you can overdo it. You know, if you leave it for five minutes too long and check it, it's just a big pulp and um, yeah, a lot of goodness is gone. So we're just going to uh, do the same as what we've done with the, the starch mix and give this a blitz up. <laughs> No mercy this time, straight on with a turbo. <laughs> Delicious. Um, I'll tell you what I did find out when I was doing stuff, stuff like this years ago when I had the allotment. Obviously you've got um, an excess of vegetables, you can't really waste it because of the effort you put in. Um, a lot of soups were made, cooled, frozen, given to friends etc. But what I did notice, and this was a big surprise for me at the time, the taste of it is completely different than what you get in tins, soups in cafes whatever because I haven't put anything in there there's no salt now believe it or not if you wanted to make this taste as close as you could to say Heinz tin of vegetable soup you're probably going to have to put in about six handfuls of salt in that and I'm not exaggerating I'm really really not so if you were to taste that now it'd be very very bland but with the the mix of the garlic and the other stuff and some of you know by now, I make up my own spice mix, um, dubbed Funky Spice because I couldn't think what else to call it because there's so many different bloody things in there. And I use this on steaks and God knows what else. So I'm just going to um, add a little bit at a time and to taste really. Once I get it to what I like, then that's it, job done. You could go purist and have it exactly as it is without seasoning, but bearing in mind, you know, this is going to, this batch what I've done, these two pots, I should imagine we'll do three to four days. Um, if you was doing this week after week after week for say a few months and you didn't add anything to it, you'll get bored pretty quick, believe me. So um, at the moment it's looking uh, like a success. What I might try and do is blend a little bit of the other stuff in there without trying to... pretty much in its natural form without anything added. So now you know why they put all of that crap in the food to make it look nice. This is totally natural. This is how it should be. Um, all I'm doing mm. very very sweet and um, as I said earlier we've got a spice mix and we're just going to be putting just a bit in at a time to see how we go really. Mm, already it's smelling nice. Straight away you can hear, well, hear it. <laughs> you can smell a spice kicking up. Mmm. More please. Oh yeah, I 
think this is going to be nice. <laughs> This is the fun part, this is really trial and error, you know. Oh wow. Oh straight away it's tasting lovely. Mm. Well I think it does need some salt at some point. Now personally I use Malden sea salt, have been for years. It's great stuff, it's totally natural, it's not that um, table salt. Some people know, some don't, but um, table salt and they do put aluminium in there in very very fine granules to stop everything sticking together this stuff is just 100% natural just scraped off and dried as a natural crystal <laughs> definitely feel the heat from the spice absolutely but you think I'm putting a lot of salt in trust me for the volume that there is in there it's it's um, I'm hardly tasting salt at all <laughs> Um, for those of you who smoke, unfortunately, I mean, I've been there myself, I was a smoker for 20 odd years, I know what it's like. You need more salt to taste stuff. Oh, that's it, I don't need no more salt, that's perfect. Mmm. Oh, that's bang on, I don't even need any pepper because of the spices there. So, um, that's pretty much it. That's the, um, the consistency and the colour we're looking at there. Just 100% natural, there's no gimmicks in it. So that's my diet for the next, well, for the next week at least. Well, there it is. A whole mother low pot of soup. <laughs> um, as I say, I've got no idea how long it's gonna take me to get through that lot, but um, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I've still got the rest of the ingredients in the fridge, so um, we'll see. But initially, I'm quite pleased with it. It tastes lovely. The consistency is just right. I don't want it too thick. I don't want it too watery. And I just know exactly what's in there. So all I'm going to be doing, as I said earlier in the video, is to um, have one portion of this lunchtime, one as an evening meal, um, a tin of fish um, with each portion, and hopefully the weight's going to start falling off. I'm going to um, do an updated video a week from now. And with my... Um, clothes on I'm talking lightweight clothes with my trainers on I'm 210 pound exactly so I'm gonna be wearing the same clothes um, wearing the same time next week and um, give you an update thanks for watching stay funky <laughs>